Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and tonight we're drinking a whiskey made by ghosts. Do ghosts really make this whiskey? I don't know. Last couple of years have been pretty weird. So if these whiskeys are really made by ghosts, then totally get it. And great job. This is a Boone County seven year single barrel. It's weeded. It's a weeded bourbon. It was distilled in spring 2013 and aged for seven years. Barrel number BCW42 comes in at a 108.8 .8 proof, 54.4% ABV. The bottle is sweet. It's got a sleek, sleek, sweet shape to it. It's got nice gold and blue stickers. The shelf appeal through the roof. It's got a, gla a bulgy glass logo. It's got the faux tax strip or fox, folks, fox, however you say that word, tax strip. It says right here, made by ghosts. So you know it's scary good. It's got a price tag on it. $100.99 for this son of a bitch. America. Synthetic cork. Engaged. Gotta get the ghosts dizzy in the glass. Ooh, ooh, so spooky and spinny. Ooh, freaking out. <laughs> To be selected as a single barrel, each barrel must be of exceptional quality and taste. This premium release of 45% weeded bourbon is limited to only 68 barrels. Dang, that's a small release. That's what she said. Every barrel is rare, unique, and will surpass your expectations. Bold statement. It's bold. Bold statement. DSP KY. 20,028, madebyghosts.com. I believe you, and anything's possible. Anything's possible. Come to find out, come to find out, UFOs do exist, and nobody cares. So, ghosts are making bourbon. Extraterrestrials are embodying people like Demi Lovato and Zuckerbutts. So weird. This is non-chill filtered with a mash bill of 51% corn, 45% wheat, 4% malted barley, aged in charred new oak, American oak number ch four char. Wow. Please enjoy responsibly. Make me. Distilled in Indiana. So this is a seven year MGP weeded bourbon. 45% wheat. You don't say. Whoa. That is Nice. This is like a very light, a very light cinnamon, like an elephant ear. Like an elephant ear? Like it's just, it's just sizzling. It's like a sizzling elephant ear. A lot of butter and dough. Sweet powdered sugar. A dash of cinnamon. A little bit of like, a little bit of like jelly or maybe like a marmalade. Maybe like a little orange marmalade on there. Little orange marmalade. Bow, 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 bow. There's a slight bit of oak. A slight bit of oak. You kind of have to dig for the oak. You kind of have to dig past the sweetness. And then you run into a stump. Face first. And you're like, oh, there you are. I've been searching for you in the dark. Glad I finally found you. And now I can go back to whatever I was doing before. Which was nothing. Just smelling other stuff. Yeah, the nose on this is tremendous. Ridiculously good nose. I like the nose a lot. Down the hatch. That is ridiculously good. The finish is bonkers. Still going. Mm. That is a fried dough. This is definitely carnival food. Definitely deep fried dough. Definite sweetness. Definite powdered sugar. Wow. Yeah. Super sweet up front. And then, and then it like punches back down the sides of your mouth and down the ridges of, of the, the sides of your tongue. 
all the, all the way down the old down the old expressway down the old whole Kentucky Hug Expressway KH1 they call it and there's a pile up on KH1 a pile up of flavor and barrel char and deliciousness oh, so good some like mixed berry marmalade marmalade marm- it's like it's like mixed mixed berry jelly if I say marmalade one more time I'm gonna punch myself in the face because I'm, I'm not like, what the heck is mo- I don't even know. After the initial rush of sweetness, the barrel char sets in and you're getting a, just a fantastic charred oak, like tingle, finished amazingness. Nose is great, palate is great. Viscosity, the mouthfeel, wonderful. Finish, tremendous. Aside from the 15-year-old fits, this is probably my favorite weeded bourbon that I have. It's just different. It hits different. There's no weed. There's no weed, weedy funk on it. It's just good and sweet and barrel charred awesomeness, and I like it. If you haven't had this before, I recommend definitely trying it. Hundred dollar price tag. Probably try it before you buy it. With that being said, I would buy a backup if I found a backup I'd get a backup I like it that much I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say it this is my favorite my favorite weeded bourbon right there love it a lot love it so much dang I love it freaking I love you ghosts that about wraps up my tasting of this ghost built weeded bourbon bugger my name is Matt this is ADHD whiskey like I always say keep your head in the clouds but your mind on just believing in ghosts. Not necessarily believing that they exist, but believe in what they can do. Don't sell them short. Believe in them. Give them a pat on the back. Slap on the old ghost ass. Pat on the head, a little wink, a smile in passing. Tell them great job. Tell them that you believe that whatever they set their little ghost mind to, they can do because hey if they're not making great bourbon what else do they have to live for except for nothing because i don't know but the spirits know what they're doing with spirits i guess